Hi, take a look at this program. This is done with P5JS and I call it Custom Pen. You can think of it sort of as a drawing program with the pen that you can customize by changing some code. Um, you can click the mouse to clear the screen and you can press A uh, sorry, R, to change the rotation angle, like this, or you can press capital R so it automatically rotates. And you notice it cycles through the hues. You can turn that off with um, capital H. So now it's all red, and then when I want to advance through the hues, I just push H. So now it's, and it goes by um, um, 15 units where the units go from zero to 360. So I'm advancing through the hues. There's green and blue, purple, red. Okay, why don't we write this? Let's start with the index.html file that includes this sketch.js and p5.js from here. And we'll start the sketch with these three functions, um, mostly empty. And we'll build it from here. And we're running it over here and nothing's happening. We have a black background. Okay, so how can we make that brush? Uh, well, we're going to do that in draw, and let's start with a single ellipse at the mouse position. And that gives us nothing. Um, let's set the color. And I'm going to switch to the um, HSB color mode. Hue, saturation, and brightness. So the first number is a hue. Zero starts at red. And then the brightness is, these are the, the saturation and brightness, these are the maximum values. Okay, do we have any lips yet? No. Oh, okay. I forgot uh, you have to say the width and height. And still, there it is. Okay. Um, I don't want the stroke around the circumference of the circle, so let's turn that off. No stroke. And... Okay, now it looks like this. And now, why don't we have it cycle through um, all the hues over time? So let's do this. Instead of zero, we'll just say frame count modulo uh, 360. There we go. So that's cycling through all the hues. The frame count starts at one, I believe, and then increases by one for each frame that's drawn. And we need to produce a number between zero and 359. And so this modulo operator gives us the remainder of dividing the frame count by 360. So imagine that the frame count is one. 360 goes into one zero times with one left over. And then when it gets up to 360, 360 goes into 360 one time with zero left over. So that's when it wraps around. Okay, now, instead of just a single ellipse, I wanted that kind of brush look that we had. And so for that, we can make a loop. And um, first, I want to change 
it, uh, to enable rotating later, I want to change the way we position the um, ellipse by doing this. I want to translate to the mouse X and mouse Y. And then here, use 0 and 0. Does that still work? Yes. Good. Now let's make our loop here. So we'll say for let, and I'm going to call this XO for X offset. And we'll start it at negative 30, and we'll continue this loop as long as the X offset is less than or equal to positive 30. And then after each iteration, we'll add, let's say, 4 to the X offset. And now, we'll use the X offset here. And we'll make these small, maybe two, two by two. Save, come over here, run. There, we've got that sort of brush. And we can change um, how it appears by adjusting these numbers. So maybe I don't want it to be so wide. I can do this. Maybe I want the bristles to be a little farther apart. So I can say six. Now it looks like this. Okay, um, what's left to do? Well, one thing I want to do is um, let's extract this variable and call it um, bristle, no, we'll call this um, brush width. And we want to go from negative brush width divided by 2 to positive brush, brush width divided by 2. And so we'll make this 40 here. Okay, that still works. And what's next? I want to be able to clear the drawing with a mouse click. So I can say something like this. If mouse is pressed, background zero. Let's extract this. And call it bristle separation. And this is getting a little wide, so I'll just split it right here. Um, let's make it so that the, it doesn't automatically, um, so, that, so that we have the option of not automatically going through all the hues. Let's create auto hue, set it to true initially, and then we'll create manual hue and set that to zero. So manual hue will be the hue that we've chosen by pressing the H key. And auto hue will be the mode that we toggle with the capital H key. Let's pull this out. Call it hue. And then we'll set the hue based on whether we are using auto hue. So if we're using auto hue, then we'll use this expression. Otherwise, we'll use the manual hue. We need to do this. We need to switch on the key. And if it is a capital H, then we'll do auto hue equals not auto hue. That toggles it. If it was true, now it's false and vice versa. And break. 
And then let's do the little h at the same time. And that will, if you press little h, that means you manually want to adjust the hue. So that automatically is going to turn off auto hue. And then we're going to say um, manual hue plus equal 15. And we'll have a default here. Okay, so auto hue is on. We'll turn it off with shift H. See if that works. That works. Now I'll advance the hue by pressing little h. Good. Okay, that's done. Now let's do the rotation. Let's add a couple things here. Let's do, select these, change hue to rotate and replace that in the selection. So auto rotate is true and then this will be called manual rotation angle. And we'll do something similar down here. Okay, so little r turns on auto rot turns off auto rotate, and then adjusts manual rotation angle um, by fifteen. Um, for rotating, we need to do this. We're going to rotate. And then we're going to consider whether we have auto rotate on. And if we do, we're going to rotate just based on frame count. Otherwise, we're going to use the manual rotation angle. There's one final thing we have to do. By default, angles in P5 are expressed in radians. And um, I'd like to use degrees. So let's add this. Now when I turn on the auto rotate, it goes like that. Um, so it's turning one degree for each frame of animation. Okay, that's it. You can find the finished program here on uh, CodePen, codepen.io slash DC Brichetti. This is called Custom Brush with P5JS. And then I'll have it on my GitHub web games repository in the P5JS directory, and it's called Custom Pen. See you next time.